Greetings and salutations, my beloved passionates. Quick disclaimer. What One Woman Does Productions and Publications is the company name, right? Very much so because I am one woman and I do all of the things. That said, today you get no pomp, you get no circumstance, you get no makeup, you get no hair, <laughs> you get no lighting. You get me and a guerrilla style episode because there's a major renovation project taking place right now and so everything is kind of upside down which is also why the episode is coming late i appreciate your support i'm glad that you're still rocking with me today's message is definitely one for you to do some deep thinking and do some perspective evaluation right i will be I might be doing a couple guerrilla style episodes just because there's so much going on and I have to prioritize while I'm going to make sure that you get content. I still have to prioritize what's going on in my life. And that's going to be an episode in and unto itself. The, the lesson that this experience has been for me. So in the meantime, you know that all the donation links are below. If you would like to donate to support so that I can so that what this one woman does is bring on some help. Um, if you'd like to submit a listener letter, send it, send it to my brilliant friend, passion at gmail.com. If you would like to leave a comment, all comments are very much so appreciated. Comments over DMs, comments over texts, comments over private messages, only because that helps me help others, right? And sometimes some of the things that you want to share, other people need to see those messages as well. So if you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm just giving you all of the things that benefit us, the network, the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share, rate. If you're not listening, no, if you're not watching, but you are listening. And I think that's it. I'll see you next week. Maybe there'll be some pomp and circumstance. Maybe there won't. But there'll definitely be a passion, no last necessary, bringing you a passion perspective shift. See you later. Passion public service announcement. Passionate. Passionate. So passionate. Passionate. Let me tell you something. So what is this passion PSA podcast? Who am I? Well, they call me passion. Short for passion, no last necessary. Why is there no last name necessary? Because the first name says it all. I am passion and all that that embodies. What do I do here? I give you the life coaching that you know you need, but don't enroll yourself in. When did I start? Actually, 2017. I'd leave a PSA on my Instagram regarding something I'd observed, and now we've evolved to this. Why do I do it? Why not? If even one person is able to take away one thing that changes their life, someone else's life, or changes the world for the better, then I've done what I was charged to do. So come on in, sit and listen for a while. There's something here for everyone at the Passion PSA Podcast. It is a salutation passion to welcome the visitors and guests. Welcome to the episode of the Passion PSA Podcast. Where I passion no last necessary, your culture right in issue a weekly public service announcement about whatever I observe goes on my mind. This is a for your consideration zone, where the objective is to offer you a perspective you may not have previously considered to both expand your thinking and to get you to be a, the best version of yourself for yourself and for others. This is a safe space but not necessarily a delicate one. I will never rob you of your right to feel how you feel. Same way I will show you what it is I have to say. As you can see, it looks like I'm in chaos. You don't see the painting behind me. You don't see the trees. Y'all, I am in the hallway of my apartment building. They have, they're doing the floors in my apartment. That's why I keep looking over there. They're doing the floors in my apartment. And so I had to basically move out of my apartment. So that's why you're getting your episode late. I thank you for your patience. I thank you for your continued and unwavering support while I continue to do <laughs> all of the things. When, when if you've ever wondered why I call it What One Woman Does Productions and Publications, I am that one woman. And this is my production. So it's a guerrilla style event, but we're getting it done. That's the point. I want to talk to y'all today about a question that's been posed to me since last week and it's about what transpired last week but i don't want to give too much energy to specific participants or, or, or proponents i want to talk about i want to give a, a, a an overall answer to what my opinion was my opinion is that everybody 
that has spent time watching different angles, everybody that has spent time investing in, 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 in opining, people writing whole think pieces about this. <clears throat> That's fine if you got the time. But if your life is not in order, if your credit is not in order, if you are trying to build a business or operate a business and your business is not flourishing, if you're not happy in your job, if you're not happy in your relationship, if you're not happy in your single domain, you ain't got time to be worried about anybody else's relationship or how they're handling things in their relationship. The truth of the matter is you or people around you are dealing with the exact same issues and you you might or the people around you might be dealing with them in the exact same ways and the only difference between what transpired on network television and what's transpiring in your life is somebody posting it on the internet and that's a real thing and I think a lot of people have overlooked that and have taken the liberty of forgetting that Right? At any point in time, you can become an overnight celebrity. And if you became an overnight celebrity, what would you do? What would you do if you were in a situation of aggressor and attacked? Because what we said at the beginning of this is that the objective is to present you another perspective that you may not have previously considered, right? So a lot of people are feeling like person A, because there was physical contact made by person A that person A is the aggressor and person B because they were the one who the contact was made on that person B is the attack plot twist if you're talking about me and you're talking about me in a way that makes me feel attacked I'm no longer the aggressor I'm actually from my perspective defending myself and you're the aggressor because you were the one that made the statement you see how how easily this can shift the tide can shift in either direction so there's that right depending on what your perspective is either person can consider themselves the aggressor and either person can consider themselves the attacked that's number one people commenting on who don't deserve to be in a relationship with who it's somebody right now who doesn't think that you deserve your happiness. It's somebody right now who doesn't think that you deserve to be with anybody. It's somebody right now who thinks that the person that's with you deserves better than you. It's somebody right now that thinks you deserve the person who, that thinks you deserve the person, the next person, or the person who's better than the person that you're with. People are always speculating on other people's affairs, but they don't have their own affairs in order. Are you happy in your relationship? Are you happy in your singlehood? Or are you making comments to, you know, quiet comments that are not being publicized, right? They're not being aired out. Are you content in your relationship or are you complaining to your, to your friends? Because if you complain to your friends, why are you worried about the next person's relationship? Because it gets to distract you from the fact that you're unhappy in your own life. Oh, well, it's not so much a distraction. Like, I could be focused on multiple things at one time. Actually, you can't. You can be focused on one thing or you can be focused on the other thing, right? There's no such thing as really multitasking. There are people who will argue absolutely there is. Well, one thing does not have your undivided attention if your attention is on multiple things. So if I'm trying to focus on these people down here, while yes, I'm still talking to you, I'm still watching and monitoring what's going on down there. So my attention is not completely on this. My attention is divided. Do you see how that works? So your attention is divided. So what was your attention removed from that your attention was so vested in this issue that is not benefiting you in any way? And it's not serving you in any way other than to entertain you. And it's entertainment until it becomes you. It's entertainment until people are dragging your name through the mud. It's entertainment until videos of you are being circulated around the internet. It's entertainment until people find your at, they find your handle, and everybody's flooding all your comments. They, they're not going to just 
bother you on this one post. They're going to make sure they get at you on every single solitary post until you turn on, either you disable commenting, you privatize your page, or you delete your account altogether. It's always entertainment when it's somebody else. Could you handle it if it were you? Because if you couldn't, I suggest you stop. Because at any point in time, you could be that celebrity. There's always somebody with a camera. There's always somebody hitting record. So the minute somebody hits record, you could be the celebrity. Are you ready? Are you ready for it to be you? Are you ready for, for, for your life to be under a spotlight? Because if you're not, in the day and age of the interwebs, where everything is immediately available, are you ready for it to be you? A lot of y'all don't have self-control, right? So the minute somebody says something to you, you want to defense it. You're talking to people crazy. You're coming at people sideways. And the minute they respond back to you, you are offended. How dare they respond back to you? So what are you doing then? Now you want to get physical. So what's the difference? What's the difference? You got a lot of people, oh, if it was me, let me tell you about that, if it was me. If it was you, you don't know what you would do. You know why? Because you're not in the situation. Everybody knows what they would do when they're not in the situation. And most of those people that say, oh, if it would have been me, I would have done this. And if it would have been me, I would have done that. When they're faced with the situation, they have a completely different reaction because they don't know, they don't know how to respond. So you can sit here, you can speculate all you want on what you would have done and what you could have done and how it wouldn't have gone down this way, how it wouldn't have gone down that way, right? But we're, we're dealing with different measures. We're dealing with different circumstances. So you don't know what you would have done. You don't know how you would have done it because you don't have any of what these people have at stake. You don't have any of that at stake. It's easy to, to Monday, Monday morning quarterback and opine from your living room sofa. It's something different when you're in it. For the people commenting on whether or not he should be with her, they, that's not your business. So I told you I'm getting the floors done, so um, they had to talk to me about something real quick. We covered the, you being a celebrity, we covered the, you minding your business. If you're building a business right now, that needs to be your focus. That needs to be your focus. Oh, this will be in cover. Going underneath posts on this one's page, talking about I'm unfollowing you. What's up, man? Can I let you in on a secret? Unless that person already follows you, you going on their page to say, oh, I am outraged and I am unfollowing you. They don't care. They don't know you. And for everybody that unfollow, or said they were unfollowing. They didn't matter. From what I heard, that person's followers went up by like two million. You over here talking about I'm unfollowing you. Who cares? I don't make announcements before I unfollow somebody. I just unfollow. I don't have conversations and argue with people and then say, oh, and now I'm blocking you. I'm just block you. Like, are y'all looking at, at how you look? Step outside of yourself and see how ridiculous you look. I'm, I'm unfollowing you and I'm telling you that I'm unfollowing you because I want you to know. Okay, and you were who? You're never gonna go see another movie again, okay? That's fine. Somebody else's. That's a real thing. Agree with it or not, it's a real thing. They're coming. They're still gonna come. They're still gonna come see shows. Just because he's not in front of the camera doesn't mean that he won't be behind the camera. That he's either gonna be an EP. He's gonna be a producer. He's gonna be a director. That man still won't find his way. He's still gonna be fine. The other person involved in this, from what I hear, his ticket sales went up in price. So, what are we doing? We're spending all this time 
and giving all of this energy to people who were already in positions better than you and people who are never going to call you to say well how do you feel about what happened or people that are never going to call you to say you know thanks for unfollowing him or people that are never going to call you or DM you and say you know I'm really glad that you bought a ticket to my show when my ticket price went up 200% what are we doing? What is your focus on? Y'all want to know what, what what I think about it? I think it doesn't matter. I think people get smacked all the time. I think reality is smacking a lot of people in the face. And a lot of people don't want to deal with the reality that's smacking them in the face. So they focus on somebody else's reality. That's what I think. I think a lot of people have a lot more important things that they need to be focused on and they need to be working on and they need to be looking at, and they're not. That's what I think. I think that there are people right now who are jealous because they wish somebody would go and smack somebody in the face for them, and they won't. I think a lot of people that are saying, oh, it was fake, it was scripted, you wanted to be entertained, you got entertained. This is what you signed up for. I think a lot of people say, oh, I would have done such and such and such and such. There are multiple ways to handle things. By you not putting your hands on somebody in retaliation for them putting their hands on you, that's that requires so much more strength than you respond. I'm sorry. That I forgot what I was saying. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to throw you off track. Your energy is lovely, by the way. You should watch my like, podcast. You have dope-ass empowerment. I feel it from out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you. I will tell, I'm going to show you what my podcast is. I'm actually shooting an episode oh, right I'm here. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, so a lot of, it takes a lot more strength to not put your hands on somebody after they put their hands on you than it does to retaliate. That's a real thing. And a lot of people feel like, I don't care. I don't care how much strength it requires. I don't care how much strength it, it, it takes because I'm not letting anybody disrespect me that way. I hear you. And a lot of you are talking real big and you're saying that because nobody's looking. Because if somebody came and smacked fire out you right now, you would stand there and you have tears coming down your face. And that's a real thing. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? That's also a human reaction. You don't have to respond in a way that everybody else thinks. Everybody's working really hard right now to prove how tough they are, right? Everybody, oh, because there's someone so dead, I get odd to me, I will skip you, woo, woo, woo. A lot of y'all, with all this anger, are just hurting. And <laughs> don't want to admit it. Because hurt doesn't sound tough. Hurt doesn't sound thorough. Hurt doesn't sound rugged. But hurt sounds like a real thing. You don't ever have to keep it real with me. The truth will always reveal itself. But you're doing yourself a disservice every time you opt out of being keeping it real with yourself. Every time you opt into to 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 keeping it trill for the gram or for anybody that's looking, but you're opting out of keeping it a stack for yourself. You only robbing yourself. That's what I think about what happened last week. I think that there's so much more that we could be focused on. I think that whether it was scripted or not, it doesn't matter. You wanted to be entertained. If it was real, then it was real. Oh, wait, he didn't have that energy for so and so. And. People talk to you crazy all day, and you don't have that energy for them, but you bring that energy home to your kids who aren't formatively developed as far as you are, but you don't think you're abusive though, right? Oh, I got time, y'all. I'm sitting in a hallway. I got time today. Everybody telling somebody else, oh, keep that same energy. Do you keep that same energy when your boss talks to you like you're incompetent? Do you keep that same energy and say, no, absolutely not. You will not speak to me this way because I did not sign on to be spoken to in a disrespectful fashion. Do you keep that same energy or do you tuck your tail between your legs and go back to your desk and, and, and color hard on your paper like when you were a kid? I bet. I mean, no, sir. That was you that No, no responses for that? Oh, he ain't have that same energy for this one and that one. You know how much energy it requires to keep this rah-rah energy for everybody? It's draining. Especially when you want better and you want to do better. It's draining. Oh, well, you know what's draining? He shouldn't be in that relationship. You shouldn't be in their relationship. Oh, well, they, they shouldn't have their relationship where? In the public eye? 
Were y'all thirsty for it? Will y'all scour the internet for it? Yeah, it's different. Oh, was she the one talking all their business? You're the one tuning in. Because guess what I'm going to stop doing when I see that there's no followers for what I'm putting out? I'm either going to continue because I feel like in time I'll get the followership or I'll stop because I see that nobody else is engaged. If I see that everybody is consistently saying, I don't want to watch this content. I want to see something different. Then I might reevaluate the content I'm putting out. But as long as I see, if, if that's the type of time I'm on, then I'm going to keep putting it out. So you're talking about, oh, well, if she ain't want nobody to know her business, she shouldn't be talking about Or with how many streaming services available right now? Like, there are at least 10 that I can call off the top of my head. You mean to tell me there's absolutely nothing else you can tune into? There is. You don't want to. It's entertainment. But be mindful of how you're entertaining yourself. We, I think we talked about this, and if we haven't, we'll definitely do an episode on this. You want to be entertained with negativity? You want to fill your subconscious mind with negativity? When those things start to manifest in your life, remember that A, you attracted it, and B, you created it. Yeah, Fill your mind with what it is that you want to see manifest in your own life. I want to see goodness manifest in my life. So you know what I was working on while everybody was concerned about who put their hands on who I was working on last week's episode. I was working on clips. I haven't even had time to promote. But that's what I was working on. That's my opinion. Uh, that's a real thing. And passion is, you should know me by now. Uh, this is not about judgment. This is about giving you another perspective to consider. For for whatever time was invested in, in that, I hope that more time was invested in everything else. And of course, everybody's going to say, of course it was, but really it wasn't. And that's the truth. Because we're still talking about it. We're still talking about it. They're still keeping our eyes and our minds on that. They stopped talking about it for a second. Oh, and then he did this. Now y'all back talking about it. They stopped talking about it for a second. Oh, and then he did this. Now y'all back talking about it. Are you talking about the dysfunction in your family? Do y'all want to talk about that? Does anybody want to go talk to a therapist about the dysfunction in their own family? Because that's what you need to be talking about. How do we correct this? How do we correct the generations of dysfunction? How do we correct the generations of hurt and damage? Where do we break the cycle? How do we fix that? That's what you need to be talking about. You talking about what's, what? who else is, is generations of damage? Really? Because it's more interesting or more entertaining to talk about them than it is to talk about you. But how corrective is it to talk about them and not talk about you? I'll wait. So tell me, I got time. So, Pajanice, I don't want to be late with the time. I just want you to think about that. I want you to put the proper energy into the proper things. It's a lot going on in this world beyond Ukraine, beyond the Covington, beyond the Pokey Poke. There are so many other things going on in this world, and most of us are not doing any research to find out what those things are. Most of us aren't even doing any research to figure out what it is that we're putting in our mouths every day. We're just excited about it because it tastes good. So we don't look up any ingredients. We don't look up if they're good, if they're toxic. There's so many things that we could be putting our attention on. Put your attention on things that are going to serve your life. Put your attention on things that are going to better your life. If you took something from that, I hope you took the power of self-control and how necessary and how vital it is. I hope you took the, the value of counseling and therapy and how vital and how valuable that is for you to sit down and talk to somebody when you feel enraged so that when a new enraging aggressive situation presents itself you have a different recourse as opposed to responding in violence or in physical acts i hope that what you took from that was how you could better yourself because if the only thing you took from last week was how either one of those parties could act differently, you missed the whole point. Okay? That's what I think about. So don't call me, don't text me. 
Don't DM me and ask me. Because if you DM me and you ask me what I think about this, I'm going to ask you everything that I know about you. How's work? Are you working someplace where you're happy? Are you happy where you live? Are you happy with the paint on your walls? Is your bank account making you happy? Are your children acting well? Are they doing well in school? Because if you can't tell me 100% yes on all of those things, then nobody's son and nobody's daughter on television that ain't acting right ain't got nothing to do with you. I want you to go forth. Be great. Be filled with bliss. Be armed and empowered with knowledge. Consider everything that I said today. Reevaluate yourself and what you're putting your attention on. In all things, be passionate. I'll see you next week. Hopefully, I won't be sitting in the hallway, but if I am, that means I just decided I was going to record another episode on the same day. I'll see you later.